andiamo a far visita ora all'Urafiki Medical Center che Leo e Maria hanno, hanno sapientemente costruito cinque anni fa e che sta dando un grande aiuto alla comunità. So Leo e Maria are two Italians that are friends of my sister. Uh, I didn't even, didn't even know. And they basically made a medical center here. We just entered Kenya uh, last night. And uh, so we're just gonna have a quick tour. And here is Lucia. She's the daughter of Maria and Leo. Hi, Lucia. How are you? Good. Good. <laughs> Wanna show us around your beautiful... Oh, look at that. It's amazing what you're doing. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. This is the clay room. This is where we take the pressure. Uh-huh. The weight. <laughs> The height, the temperature. So they're the, the first things, right? The first... Uh... Under five years, we take the kilo naked. Above five years, even if it's an adult, we try to take less... Less clothes on. Of course. It's amazing. Look at that. This is our injection room and dressing room. Beautiful. How many people do you work here? Eight. Are helping you? Eight people help you? This is one consultation room where the doctor one. visits. There's a doctor, he comes here. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that. This is our antenatal room. Also, the eye doctor visits here once a month. He's a volunteer from the government hospital. Okay. The gynecologist room. So every every time you have like every like say a couple of days a week you have the high doctor I doctor is once a month once a month okay uh, gynecologist is also once a month <coughs> okay the lady for the antenatal the nurse she's here every day and all this is free for the people no they pay a small amount they pay they pay just a small amount yes. great And this is a dentistry, this I be believe. Dentistry? Yes. I remember this in Mexico. Um, everything was brought by a group of dentists. From Italy or? From Italy, yes. They brought everything through container. But we have a dental, a dentist, a local dentist who comes on volunteer bus basis once a week. Once a week? Yes. Okay. From oh, beautiful. The From the government yes. still. It's a family organization, this, right? It's yes. uh, it's your your mom, yes, yourself, my mom, my dad, your dad, and yourself. Yes. So all these three little people are doing a, a big, huge difference here. Hey, this what is a the difference! Main it's amazing. And then every year we do the statistic. This is the one of 2010, and the other ones on the other side. That is we also have the nutrition program for the malnourished. So for the, sorry? Malnourished. <coughs> malnourished? The malnutriti. Ah, oh yes, of course. So we give them uji, a porridge. Okay. Which basically has everything in it. And all they need is water and a bit of sugar. And this is all the food for the malnourished? Yes. If it's because this is one of your big cause right now, yes. right? Is to to, yes. to to look after the malnourished yes. uh, children. If it's moderate, we give this. If it is severe, we give porridge with the normal peanut butter. Oh, with ah. peanut butter. But this one, it is made. It is a family business, so it has very little preservatives. Okay. No. 
Paisley. Et on prend ce qu'il faut aux autres.